So in deciding what I want to be when I grow up, I've considered a lot of things in the scientific field and one of those pretty clearly was medicine. So uh, my dad is a cardiologist which really helped because he kind of gave, opened the first door to medicine for me. One day when I was sleeping in over the summer he invited me to come along to work with him and I'm like alright sure might as well, nothing to lose, not doing anything anyway. And it completely opened my eyes to the medical field. It was so cool. It really appealed to my sense of cleanliness. I can be like a perfectionist in keeping things clean. So I love that everything was sterile. I love that it was all very methodical. Um, I love that there was kind of a hierarchy too, that everybody was helping for the ultimate goal of helping the patient. And they organized such that there's one doctor directly, you know, performing surgery on the patient and, you know, other people helping them out. And so instead of just staying with cardiology, I asked around just all the random doctors in our local hospital if I could shadow them. And a lot of them said yes, some of them said no. Um, but overall, I got a lot of experience with general surgery, with ophthalmology, um, just kind of anything and everything. I shadowed a gynecologist. Um, but the one kind of crown jewel for me was when I um, studied with a cardiothoracic surgeon who does open heart surgery. I remember my first impression when I saw open heart surgery just blew my mind. It's First of all, it's such a long process in itself. It can be six, eight hour process and essentially the patient is dead on the table and they kind of kill the patient and bring him back to life in order because they stop his heart and I just remember seeing um, the chest open. I'm sorry if this is gory, but I just remember these met like metallic kind of claws holding their chest open. But then the little heart right inside the chest was kind of like a scared little mouse to me. And that made such a big impression on me that I wrote my college essay about it, my personal essay. And I knew I wanted to keep doing this, so I asked the surgeon if I could work with him. And he was like, yeah, actually, I've been meaning to write an article on saphenous vein graft aneurysms if you want to learn more. And I was like, yes, I want to learn more. So I spent an entire summer with him researching these saphenous vein graft aneurysms, which is kind of like if you imagine a snake that swallowed a rat, that's what these aneurysms are in the heart. And so I did all this research. It was a pretty rare condition. And the surgeon's technique that he used to treat this condition was even more rare. So I did a review of the literature. I sifted through so many papers with huge vocabulary words that I did not know and had to look up every other word. But it was really nice because I could work from home and it meant that I kept watching open heart surgery, which kept me coming back for sure. And I just didn't realize that there's this whole other academic level to the medical field. I always thought it was, you know, practicing in the clinics and, you know, treating patients, meeting with them and then performing surgery. I didn't realize that the doctors are the ones contributing to these medical journals and they're honestly trying to help each other out, like sharing information, sharing techniques that have worked and have not worked. And I felt so important that I got to contribute to that. So it was a very long process, lots of submissions and resubmissions to different medical journals. We had to search for which ones would be interested in this kind of a thing. Um, but eventually we got a journal that accepted us, which was really rewarding. And it meant that I got to be published, which is really cool. And I think that was a very strong point of my application to Harvard, was that I showed this interest in this medical field that I could see myself not only practicing, but also writing about it and contributing to the medical community at large. So really interesting summer experience, and I would do it again in a heartbeat.